Hi, my name is Scott Soltis, and I'm an assistant professor of management at the University of Kentucky. And along with Dan Brass and Dave Leepak, I'm one of the authors of Social Resource Management, Integrating Social Network Theory and Human Resource Management. This project really began more than 20 years ago in 1995 when Dan wrote a chapter on social network analysis and human resource management. That 1995 chapter highlighted the limited work that had been done to meaningfully integrate the two fields and showed how much work there was still to be done. It was that chapter that inspired me to want to be a scholar that focused exclusively on human resource management and social network analysis and where the two areas can be meaningfully joined. So I approached Dan about updating the chapter and lending his expertise in social network analysis and Dave Leepak about joining on the team to lend his expertise in human resource management and his interest in social network analysis. And together we created the manuscript that you now have to read. So our paper consists of three parts. The first part is a pretty standard review with one notable exception. That exception being that there's not a lot of literature to review in some of the sections. So we went systematically through the various areas of human resource management in terms of the practices and policies and phenomenon that are studied, as well as looking at strategic HR for the larger scale implications of HR for organizations. We cataloged all of the network articles that have been done in each of these individual areas and found that while some progress had been made since the 1995 chapter, there were still several areas that were largely lacking in social network analysis and social network theory. So in our core review, we highlight the work that has been done, but we also try to provide meaningful suggestions for ways that we can improve this literature and help to continue its growth. The second part of our paper deals with how exactly we can get to a place where we study social resource management. So we lay out a variety of pathways through which we can meaningfully integrate social network analysis and theory and human resource management. Things like embracing phenomenon that are relational in nature. Things like focusing on networks as part of organizational context, because as human resource management scholars, we already pay a lot of attention to context in terms of culture and climate, but not as much in terms of focusing on the context of networks that exist within organizations. So finally, we provide some practical advice in terms of how this can be something that is not just slapping two fields together. We really don't want this to be a reason for social network analysis scholars to bring in an HR variable into their studies or for human resource management scholars to add in a couple of network variables in their next study. We really want this paper to be generative of a field of research, which is social resource management that identifies and embraces the fact that relationships play a crucial role in the functioning of organizations and in particular, in terms of the practices that we study from an HR perspective. We hope you enjoy reading this article as much as we enjoyed writing it and that it really inspires you to go out and do research in social resource management. Thank you.